Alrighty, here we go again. Thank you very much for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about how to convert a percentage value into a whole amount. And to be able to understand this lesson and the details of it, you must know two things. You must know how to convert a percentage into a fraction that is in lowest terms. And uh, the second thing you're going to have to know is how to multiply numbers to make 100. For example, if I gave you 25 and I said 25 times what is 100, you should know 25 times 4. Likewise, if I said uh, 20 times what makes 100, you should be able to know that it's 20 times 5 that makes 100. So if you're good to go, let's move on. Now, here's some strategies. The first strategy to convert a percentage value into a whole amount is you must multiply the percentage by a value that turns it into 100. And then you must multiply the other number by the same thing. It's sort of like fractions to make equivalent fractions. Whatever you do to the numerator, you do to the denominator. It's the same idea here. So let's look at an example. We have 50% of a pizza costs $11.50. How much does the entire pizza cost? I want you to underline entire pizza. I want you to point at the word entire and then write 100% represents entire. 100% is the whole thing. That's what we want. What I've got over here is the diagram to help explain the concept. We're gonna be doing diagram and we're gonna be doing the T-chart method. So using the diagram, what I have here is 50% uh, we know is one half. So I drew a pizza and I cut it in a half. That's it. We just cut it in half. Now this side is a half. And this side is also 50%. And each one is going to be $11.50. And this side will also be $11.50. And together they make... $11.50 times two of them makes $23 for 100%, which is the entire thing. So the second method we'll, we'll utilize is the T-chart. So all you're going to do is make a T-chart, write percent, and the other side will be dollars. And for the percent side, we'll write 100 to start. You do that for all the questions, right? 100% at the top. You're going to make a, make a question mark because we're going to pretend we don't know what it is yet. We'll pretend we didn't do the diagram. And uh, somewhere down here, we'll write 50 is $11.50. Now, if you have another color, go ahead and make an arrow and ask yourself, 50 times what is 100? 50 times 2 is 100. Whatever you do to this side, you got to do the same the same thing to the other. And then when we multiply these two, we don't get a question mark anymore. We get $23. Now the next part here, 25% of a pizza costs $3. How much does the entire pizza cost? Okay, look, you know why I made four sections on this pizza? is because I know 25% is one-fourth. Remember that was the requirement? You got to know how to turn percents into fractions in lowest terms. Okay, we know how to do this. So we draw a pizza and uh, we can shade in one fourth and say this is worth $3. But that's not the only fourth. That's not the only 25%. This is also 25%. And it's also $3. And so are the, each of the other two pieces are all going to be $3 each. And so what, we've, what we have now is $3 times 4, which is $12 for... 100%. That's going to be our answer. $12 for 100%, which is the entire pizza. The T-chart method, go ahead and make a T-chart. Write percent. Write dollars. And then go ahead and write 100%. Put a question mark down. Go down a few steps and write 25%. And we know 25% is $3. If you have another color, go ahead and switch it. Make an arrow from the 25 to the 100 and write times 4. That's how we turn 25 to 100. That's, we want 100%. So we'll go to the other side. We'll write $3 times 4. And uh, then that question mark disappears and we get $12. Done. Moving on. 20% of a pizza now costs $3. 
And we know 20% is one fifth. And that costs $3. So uh, how much does the entire pizza cost? How much does 100% cost? Let's find out. We're going to chop this. Now, look, I made a rectangular pizza because it doesn't matter what shape it is as long as you represent 20%. So 20% is one-fifth. Let's draw five slices. Here, let's, those are big. Let's make them a little smaller. I'm going to put one, two, three, four, and five. Each one of these, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be 20%. And this piece here is also 20%. And so is this and that and that. See, 20%, 40%, 60%, 8%, 100%. That's the whole thing. And each one's going to represent $3. So we'll go ahead and write a $3 in here. And this is also $3. And so is this one. And so are the other two. So how many $3 do we have? We have five of them. So we can write $3 times five is $15 for, $15 for 100%. Let's go on to the T-chart method. T-chart method says put a percent here, put a dollar here, 100% goes on top. Question mark, we'll move down, we'll write 20%. 20% is $3. Make your arrow. Right, times five, and so is this one. And so that question mark now becomes 15, oops, let's do that again. That question mark becomes 15 bucks. Now it doesn't have to always be pizza, it doesn't have to be food, it could be companies. If you watch Dragon's Den or, or any of those shows, you see they use these kind of percentages all the time. They say, well, 10% of a company is 20 grand. How much is the entire company worth? And we know that 10% is one tenth. It's one out of 10. So that means we got to, look, I, I drew a rectangle because I need some sort of symbolic representation of a company. This is my company and I'm going to chop it into 10 parts. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And each one is going to be 10%. And that slice is going to be $20,000. Now we've got 10 slices that are all equivalent in size, and each one's going to cost you 20,000. So the equation will be 20,000 multiplied by 10 is $200,000 for the company. So that's how you would do this. Four, don't forget to write this down. Now how would you do this with the T-chart? No different. You go, you write percent, you write dollars, you write 100%, put a question mark, write 10% down here, $20,000, and then make your arrow times that by 10, that 10 times 10 is 100%, and then we're gonna have to times this by 10 as well, and uh, that question mark then turns into 200,000.